I'm gonna get myself a switch. It was only last year that I upgraded my network here in the office to 2.5 gig. 2.5 gigabit switch. Bought a couple of switches at Micro Center and I thought I was getting a good deal and I was at that time because they had this crazy half off sale. But who would have thought that only a year later Ubiquiti was going to come out with a bunch of new gear at 10G. So I'm going to do an upgrade. Let's go to Micro Center. What's up? Dan, how are you? Jeremy, nice Jeremy? to meet you. Hey. Are you the network guy? Yeah. Nice. He's a lot more skilled with this than I am. Why? Nice hair, by the way. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so should we take a look at that uh, area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gateway, what the heck is this? Like, why do I need a gateway and a switch? Come on. I mean, so... <laughs> I didn't expect to spend that kind of money. So one of them is going to be the controller that actually allows you to use their app, which is kind of the whole point of Unify. I yeah. should preface this by saying that I'm already running Unify, but it's the older generation. And I have something called a cloud key. Oh. I want to set it up and I don't want to touch it for years. That's what I liked about Unify stuff is I haven't had to. So this could kind of replace your whole system. Holy cow. This thing is not small. No. I'm gonna not have to all. find space for it. Yeah. I got to tell you, that is not enough ports for me. Right. I need more ports. You're, you're probably going to want to get a switch with it. So we right. can do a PoE switch that would just be doing 2.5 gigs or we could go for something like the aggregation switch. I can't do 2.5 no. anymore. That's what I have now. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's upgrade. Okay. What sure. are we at price-wise here though? Uh, so that one's going to be 599. 599. And then with the other access points, you're looking at 300 each. Okay, no discount on these because they're brand new, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we are starting to actually do, you know, discounts with Ubiquiti, Micro Center specifically, oh. which not many other places have, so, but we're having a special partnership with them. All right, let's take a look at these switches. Okay. So this is the aggregation switch. So this is basically the only thing that would actually give you, you know, 10 gigs on each port. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're still doing SFP here mm -hmm. and we still only have eight. Yeah. I thought they had a 10 port, 10 gig switch. No, it was an eight port. Maybe it was this thing. It should be this one. Should be. Hold on, hold on. Let me check. I asked Chad GPT yesterday. Yeah. I was like, what is available out there? Oh, this, this one. Uh, Pro XG 10 PoE. So the new stuff is we get a bit later because they like to be the first ones to oh. kind of pump it out before us. Yeah, yeah. So Chad GPT is not really helping me out. But wait, actually, I think we might have that 10 gig switch. What? I think we have a single one. What? Yeah. I'm going to get the switch that you guys have? I, I think so. And if that has all 10 gig RG45s, that's actually really good. All right. And does gonna, this have? We're going to hunt wow. for this thing. Is that it right yeah, there? I think so. Oh, yes. <laughs> we found it, Dan. Yeah. And it has PoE on it, too. Well, Chad GPT came through for this there one. There you then. go. Holy cow. But this is not a cheap switch. No, not at all. That is not. That no. is the most expensive <laughs> switch I've ever seen. Wow. 700 bucks for that. But it's brand new and it's got all this new stuff on it. That yeah. is crazy. I don't know what we're at budget wise right now <laughs> because we're going to need like a couple of these little SPF things, right? Yeah. SFP. Yeah. Well, yeah. So not if, SPF. That's if, for sun tanning. If we're <laughs> leaving. <laughs> If we're leaving these next to each other, then we can get just one of the small DAC cables from Ubiquiti. We wouldn't need like transceivers or anything, okay. which that really gets expensive. Can you show me so that? We, yeah, yeah. I will say these DAC cables are really popular, so I might be out. The DAC really cables. short ones is what we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, the really short ones. Yeah, if you go too long, then you get signal loss. Okay. So that's when you need the transceivers. Is this yeah. like a different brand that's... Yeah, just a different brand. You know, kind of the alternative when somebody's looking for a DAC cable, we don't have Ubiquity. This is what we do here. Oh, okay. So, just so this will work. It's mm -hmm. not like this yeah. cable doesn't work. No, no, it's, it's a 10 gig SFP. It, it still does the job. Only one cable? That's all you should need because you're just going from the switch to the router. So we don't need injectors because the... That switch you have has PoE out. That's going to have PoE. We have to check the budget for it though, if it's doing PoE plus or plus plus or if it's just PoE. Because if it's not doing plus plus, that's what the uh, access points you got take. They take PoE plus plus. Okay. So we're going to have to check kind of the PoE rating on that. I don't know what he's talking about, but... Yeah. Sounds legit. <laughs> so we're going to a new department. I assume you want the 10 gig access points too, right? You're talking about Wi-Fi? Yeah, Wi-Fi 7 Ooh, and 10 gig uplinks on it. Yeah. So you would be looking at the U7 Pro XGs. Ubiquity, what's up with these boxes, huh? They look identical. 
I can't tell the difference. Yeah. Come on. U7 Pro XG. So mm -hmm. we are getting Wi-Fi 7 on this and it takes in a 10 gig signal. Yeah. 10 gigs is not really necessary for Wi-Fi 7 though, right? No, no. I mean, it can't do 10 gigs wireless. So how much is this puppy? Uh, 199. That's it? Mm hmm I remember these things used to cost like 400 bucks too. Yeah, no. So you can always get the XGS, which has uh, a couple more lanes for data, but it's really not necessary for most people, especially home use. Okay. How many devices does this one handle? So that one is, that I know that is a difference between the two, is definitely that one is a lot better for like, you know, a ton of devices. Okay. Which maybe for someone like you, you probably have a lot of devices at home. I don't want to run out of space yeah. for devices, that's so for sure. <laughs> maybe if you do want some more bandwidth, it would be better. Actually, let's go for if that you, one. You want to go for the higher Let's end? go for the higher okay. end one. Are they making different color ones now too? They are, they are, yeah, it's new for them. So yeah, we do have a few black ones if you want instead. Nah, I'll yeah. go with these yeah, classic yeah. white ones, for that's sure. fine. I'm getting all this new stuff, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of new stuff. There's one more issue. This and this are gonna sit next to each other. Oh, these are, oh, okay. But I wanna be able to have 10G in the office, which is probably like 15 to 20 feet away. Sure. So do I run ethernet cables? multiple ethernet cables or mm -hmm. can I run one ethernet cable from this thing to another 10G switch? Yeah, you definitely could run ethernet from that to another 10G switch. I think that's 100%. the way to do it. Yeah. But okay. I want a switch that's going to be quiet. Yeah. Because this is an office that I'm going to be recording in. Okay. So most ubiquity switches should generally be quiet. We don't need one that big now. Mm -hmm. Right. This can be a smaller 10G switch. Yeah, yeah. So I think that you mentioned one. Like the aggregation switch? Yeah, maybe, maybe? that one. Maybe right. That one. That will have um, SFP on it. So again, we'll need to somehow get you the SFP to RJ45 adapters for it. Cause we can run like transceivers with fiber from there, but then actually getting you transceivers with 10 gigabits, that might be a bit harder for, for ethernet at least. Cause you'll have to go ethernet to your other devices. So this is getting a little more complicated. <laughs> yes. But how do we do that? Is it possible? It is possible. I don't know. We might not have everything in store. Cause again, 10 gigs. Very this is new. a big store. You yeah. guys have everything. Yeah. 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 We, we get that a lot. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try to find this stuff okay, and see if we can sure. do it. Yeah, definitely. I think most of our ubiquity SFP modules are all one gig. So that, that could be an issue. That's going to be a little bottleneck. Yeah. But I guess we're, we're about to find out. Daniel, we might not even have any right now. <laughs> it's just that new. Yeah. I, I'm going to check uh, inventory. So we need a bunch of these, but we need the 10 gig versions and these are the one gig versions. That lens can focus that closely? Yeah. That's pretty good. I guess the next video is going to be about cameras. Wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Then we'll have uh, I mean, uh, over here and I'll be the camera guy. Next video will be more building stuff, I think, with Dan. Okay. I'll have more things to say, but over here, this is, uh, this is like a foreign language to me. The moment they started saying <laughs> injectors and uh, aggregation, I just... I know the first time I heard about PoE injectors, I was like, yeah. what? What are you talking about? I think we might be out of luck for transceivers. Oh, I, yeah. All right. I'm lucky enough to have a, a few of these micro centers. So if they don't have something in one of the stores, I can go check the other store. Mm -hmm. And they're all within my area. I think there's three around here. Yep. And there's a new store opening up in Phoenix, by the way. So if you want to go check that out, if you live in the area, you'll be pretty happy to hear that they're opening up a new store over there and they're giving away a 128 gigabyte thumb drive for those of you that what are you, what are you, sign, sign up for uh, early you, access. Yeah, you just sign up for early access mm -hmm. and they, uh, they, they mail you something out. You go to the store, you're like, hey, I, I want my drive. And while you're there, you can explore and then probably go home with way more than you plan to. There you go. Phoenix store opening up soon. What's all this stuff down here? This is all of our open box stuff, which actually our store for the month has 50% uh, off all clearance items. This is under $200, yeah. Oh, wow. So here is an example of a POE injector for 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's a cloud gateway from so, Ubiquity. It's a hundred bucks for this thing. Yeah, and the price you see here was, will give you a 50% off that. <gasps> what, 50% yeah. off of this? Mm -hmm. Just oh, for the month wow. for this micro center specifically, Rockville location. Okay, so Rockville is running a sale right now. Mm -hmm. You'll probably see this too late, but they'll probably <laughs> still have this on sale. Any so, other ideas, like what, how I would, uh, what I would need? So I mean, it's mainly the uplink for the Pro Max. You're probably gonna Ethernet for now, just to regular Ethernet uplink port on there until you can get, you know, an SFP transceiver to that. Okay. 
Let's do that. And Dream going machine. from the Verizon router to the Dream Machine mm -hmm. is just a standard Ethernet cable. Obviously, the Verizon router is not outgating or outputting 10 gigs. No. So you, yeah, it would just be a standard Ethernet cable. They have 2.5 gig port on the Dream Machine, but for whenever you want to really do 10 gig, you'd probably be using the fiber optic cabling rather than the RJ45 okay. for the actual uplink to your ONT. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're cleaning out our switches, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. You're cleaning them out. Oh, See, if these were labeled better, I'd be able to be like, yeah, that's, that's know, right? that one and that one's new. At but... least make them different colors, like yellow for 2.5, red yeah. for 5, uh, I don't know, green for 10. I just wish, like, they had labeling. I think actually they're regressing in their labeling on some of these. Like, these have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right. The Ubiquiti boxes are chunky though. There's a lot I won't get into right away, but I'll work up to it. I was stoked to get this new gear hooked up. Now I've got 10 gig ethernet across the whole network. Everything, my NAS, my computers that have 10 gig NICs, everything is supposed to be so much faster. Plus I'm finally getting Wi-Fi 7 everywhere. These access points handle 2.5 gigahertz, five and six gigahertz bands. So now I'm covered for anything new that comes along. This one's really cool. It's PoE, which means it's powered over ethernet. I don't even need a separate power adapter to power this thing. So this should work. It is a very long cable I have going into it, but... Uh, oh, maybe the cable is too long. Hey, got a blue light. I don't see this blinking though. It's not blinking on this side either. Hmm. It is a big wad of cable though. A few moments later. I got it back here with a short cable. But apparently that's not what the problem was. The problem was I just didn't have enough patience to wait. It takes a couple of minutes for everything to negotiate and figure out where everything is. And now it just works. It would have worked in the office too. And yeah, I am kind of dumb. So feel free to yell at me about this in the comments, especially if anybody from Ubiquiti is watching, I apologize, okay? I don't know how to use your stuff, but luckily you have some smart folks working for you so that I don't need to. I don't need to be a genius to set this up. I just plug it in and it kind of just works without me doing much. This is it. It all comes down to this right here. I have this computer that I built with a 10 gig NIC in it, connected to the small XG flex switch, connected to the big XG switch, all 10 gig. And that one is connected to the dream machine station, whatever they call it, dream something. <laughs> Haven't figured out quite yet what to do with that, but we'll see. I'm sure there's a good use for it. Here's iPerf running on the NAS. <laughs> 9.5 gigabits. Oh yes, this is what I've been waiting for. Time to do the file copy test. Boom. Yes, total seconds 280, down from 1080. That's like five times the speed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I calculate it's 3.8 times the speed. I knew somebody was gonna say it in the comments, but still pretty good, right? I gotta say this was a fun one to do and thanks to the guys at Micro Center for helping me out today. Always a good bunch they are. Check out the Phoenix store when that opens up if you're in the area. I know some of my friends are over there. Hello friends, and I'll see you all in the next video.